So you want to check and see what extensions are installed on a student's machine. You can't always rely on what you see in the upper right hand corner because not all extensions always show up on the corner here. So what you're going to have to utilize is the three dots in the upper um, right hand corner. You'll click on more tools and you'll click on extensions. Now, there's been an update, so sometimes you'll see the extensions listed like this. This is the newer view. Sometimes you'll just see it as a vertical list, um, more old school design of the extensions that are there. Now, my machine shows up this way. So you will see now all of the extensions that are loaded on a machine. And what you can do is you can, of course, have kids remove an extension. Um, you can also enable and disable an extension. But honestly, if you're not sure, it's better to just remove an extension and you could always add it later if it turns out it was a mistake. Now, there are some extensions though that a student cannot remove and that would be any extensions that are grayed out like Hapara or um, there's some snap read other things um, that they can't remove. So if it's grayed out, it's not something that they installed, it's something that the district installed. So you can go in and you can delete extensions from this extensions menu. Now, if you do see an extension in the corner, you can um, right click on it and remove from Chrome um, directly from there if you want to. But a lot of students have their um, extensions hidden it's where it says hide in Chrome menu. Um, another one that I see a lot is the panic button extension, which is a red button that um, closes all the tabs all at once. So those are just kind of things to look out for would be game extensions, extensions without <laughs> educational value, the panic button extension, anything else that tries to like hide what a student has up. Um, so yeah, that's how you check what extensions are there and how to remove them.